Hello, welcome to Menacing MTG. Today we have a mono white deck. Um, I want to keep this intro pretty brief, so I'm going to rattle through the deck and kind of explain things as I go. Um, uh, please, if you like this video, please consider uh, subscribing, liking, leaving feedback. Um, I want to just say that uh, I often like will wake up in the morning and have this concept of a deck emerge. Um, and I don't know exactly what cards, but I have a sense of what cards and what elements that I want and how the elements work together. And this is an example of a deck that has a lot of contributing elements that create a nice synergy. Um, this is a deck that the longer you're in the game, the more likely you are to win the game. It becomes overwhelming for others. There are certain types of decks that will um, undo this deck like if there's someone that has a lot of um, enchantment removal that would cause us a problem but it's a pretty persistently difficult deck I think there's only three or four actual um, creatures in this deck um, they're good ones and there's a little bit of opportunity but very little to bring them back once they're removed but there's a lot of token um, creation and um, a lot of very good removal and a lot of life gain and um, life gain triggers um, token development so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the deck I'm just gonna run through it now uh, so one authority of consoles whenever a creature that the opponent brings on enters the battlefield it's tapped and you gain a life um, one Sarah angel here's one of the creatures it's a one one life link creature but when you have 30 or more life it gains five, five, plus five, plus five, and has flying. One Speaker of the Heavens, um, a one-one creature, Vigilance lifelink, and you can create four, four white angel token creatures um, if you have at least 27 life. Um, four, Fountain of Renewal for um, two purposes, life gain and card draw. Two Dawn of Hope instrumental card in this deck um, because whenever you gain life, you can pay two and draw a card, which is great. Um, a lot of card draw in this deck as a result of this and other things. Um, and then you can pay four without tapping it, so you can do it repeatedly, unlike the um, castle. Um, and it's a, you create a, not only a 1-1 one, one creature, but it has lifelink, so really great. Um, two Griffin Ares. This is an enchantment that when you gain three or more life in a turn, you create a 2-2 two, two Griffin uh, creature token with flying. There's two of these in here, so once you get, you know, one on the board, you might even get two on the board. Um, you're creating flyers every turn. Um, revitalization here is some, uh, covers two bases. Life gain, which triggers Griffin Airy and other things, as you saw, the two creatures I've shown you thus far benefit from having a lot of life, um, and draws a card. Um, three, Birth of Melitus. So this gets you white lands. It also creates a 04 wall token, and um, you gain two life uh, when you play this. So um, this is a great card, um, just gives you a blocker. Gains you life, gives you more land. Three Banishing Light allows you to exile target non-land. Permanent and owner controls until this leaves the battlefield. Only a three drop, three of these. One Ajani, Strength of the Pride. Great card for this deck as we gain lots of life. Um, because its alt is if you have at least 15 life more than your starting life total exile. Ajani of the Pride and and each artifact and creature your opponent controls. Can be super potent, but in the meantime, you can create two two cat tokens that benefit from light, life gain and dry. Uh, uh, when you either get plus one, plus one counters, just like the Johnny Pride Mate um, creature. Also, you can use it, you gain life equal to the number of creatures you control, which that includes tokens, so it can be very potent. Um, all right, next, Anointed Procession, one of these in the deck. Only own one, but get it on there. 
We're making lots of tokens. You can double the amount. Here's creature number three, Archon of Sun's Grace. Ultra great card for this deck. It's flying lifelink 3-4. Uh, Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink. That's that's not of note really, but whenever a, an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 two, two white Pegasus creature token with flying, okay? These things just multiply like crazy, these uh, token generators. Three Conclave Tribunal. We know we have three Banishing Light, but this, uh, once you take something off the board with this, the opponent cannot play another one. And no, I'm sorry, that's Ixalan's Binding. So this, oh, this is the one that has Convoke, so you can help with, you can tap tokens or creatures to pay for this to come on the board, and sometimes only paying one white mana to exile a creature or permanent, non-land permanent. Okay, one Honden of Cleansing Fire. This gains you two life every turn. It's the only shrine in here, so it's only going to gain you two, but you can see that I have four Fountain of Renewal in here. Um, so the Excellence Binding almost guarantees you to tip off the um, Griffin Ari um, and get your life up there. Okay, makes you more resilient. Um, here's the two Excellence Binding, which is so great because when you grab something with this, they cannot play a card with the same name, okay? There's a lot of this kind of removal in here, and it's a balancing act as what, how much of each you want, because they all do something kind of cool. Um, and this one is the four drop that keeps others from playing the same card. To settle the wreckage, this is one of my new favorite cards. Exile all attacking creatures, target player controls, okay? Whoa, kind of like a board wipe. You can time it, keep this in your hand, wait for the moment, destroy everything that the other opponent is coming in with. Okay, creature number four, Bane Slayer Angel. Wow, potent. You know, it has flying, first strike, and lifelink, and it's a 5-5 five, five for a 5-drop. Huge value there. In addition, it's got protection from demons and dragons, okay? This is one of the only things that kind of, um, you know, gives those red decks with the dragons a real hard time, um, Terror of the Peaks and whatnot. It has first strike and protection from them. Okay, great card. Um, one divine visitation. Okay, if you, if one or more creature tokens would be created under your control, that many 4-4 four, four white angel tokens are created instead fly, with flying and vigilance. Okay, so when you're tapping a land or you're using Dawn of Hope to create a 1-1, one, one, boom, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Angel with flying and vigilance. Okay, so one Elspeth. Now I love this card, and the reason that this is better than the others in some respects is because it brings a creature or planeswalker back from your graveyard. I ha I use usually use three of these in decks that it's in, but there's only four creatures in this deck, and you can't bring back tokens. So um, it had there's four creatures and one planeswalker that you could bring back. So you know. This could be a timely piece where you exile something and then you bring back something. Okay, one re Reverent Hoplite. Um, interesting card. Um, you hope you get it later in the game when you have some of these other pieces in place that create angels because um, Hoplite enters the battlefield, create the number of 1-1 one, one white human soldier tokens equal to your devotion to white, okay? And with this deck, you're going to have so many white enchantments out, you're going to have a ton of devotion, and you're going to create a ton of tokens, and they're probably going to be 4-4 four, four flyers with vigilance. Huge, okay? Um, and it's a creature itself, so, you know, another body where it's such a, I'm sorry, this is creature number five. This was my last addition to the deck. Um, I forget what I pulled out, but, um, oh, it was the second shrine, the one drop shrine that you can tap things with, which, you know, that didn't do much. It bolstered you up to getting one additional life when you get the other Honden on, but um, you, rarely was I actually tapping anything. Either you're, either you're rocking the tokens or you're not. So uh, this is just another huge, it could be a massive token drop when this comes on. Okay, 
Seagull of Empty Throne. One of these, it's an enchantment five drop whenever you cast a spell, an enchantment spell, create a 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying, okay? Now this, um, this to some degree is a duplication of divine visitation, but not exactly because uh, this is all, divine visitation is only when you're creating tokens. Um, the seagull is um, creating them when you bring out any enchantment. So between the two of them, wow, okay, tons of tokens. Three Castle Ardenvale. You need three of these in here because um, you want to be able to efficiently be able to create the 1-1 one, one human creature tokens. Uh, and then, um, of course, your goal is to get the Dawn of Hope out. So then you would no longer need the castle, but you would use the Dawn of Hope. It's a much better thing. You, With this, you have to tap it and for life. Um, so you can only use this once per turn. Um, but, you know, you want to create tokens, you want to do it early and often. 19 basic planes and one radiant fountain that gives you a life gain of two when it comes on the board. So you have 23 total lands in here. So, yeah, this deck is cool. That's it. I'm going to cut it off here. Thank you for watching this. Okay, here we are. We have the necessary lands to get started and some good starting items. Dawn of Hope, Griffinary, and Revitalize, and a Conclave looking down the line. So I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, I get to go first, too. That's a rarity, it seems. Okay, this is a good start. This deck definitely requires some patience and thoughtfulness. And wow, okay, we ha now have four land, so this is fabulous. So we'll create our first flyer. And I'll throw up a Fountain of Renewal. There we go. Okay, interesting. Spending a... Um, counter spell on a trigger okay okay that's a nice looking card we'll see if they counter this revitalize They do not. And we'll get a card draw here in addition to a flyer. Okay, there we go. Um, with counter spells, this is going to be interesting. Um, they do have three colors they're working with here, so I'm not expecting a ton of counter spells. And they play nothing. And I'm tempted to go for card draw here. I will do it. We get tons of mana, which is great. So now I, I'd i love to get that Honden on, but I'd hate it to be bounced. But I'm going to try to do it. Yeah. It's gone forever if they, if they counter it. And they do. That's terribly unfortunate. OK, 
Okay, we've got oodles of land here. We'll do the auto pay because I've got enough mana to create a token and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to stay put here. And they're going to be pressed here at some point to um, try something other than countering. Okay, they spend their mana there and we'll create a token with lifelink. Yeah, so the pressure will increase upon them here. I know ways and they'll leave Narset open. I cannot draw a card with Narset on the board here. Okay, and I think that we're safe to roll here. I'm going to go right for Anointed Procession. That will equate to two tokens. Double the tokens that I produce. And we will decline the card draw, which wouldn't work anyway, and we'll create two tokens on their turn, and they give up Narset. Things are going very well here. They do, I see, they do have a counter creature spell in hand, down to 11 life. Okay, I like that. Sarkon is a very good um, piece to get. I'm going to decline this and going to have a very unfortunate thing for them to be looking at here with Baneslayer, and I'm hoping that they have um, no removal there. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Sarkon right off the board here so I don't have to mess around. There is no, peace no attacks. Ouch. Okay. They're going to give it up. Yeah, their handwriting's on the wall. I had Divine Visitation next and could draw a card, uh, create tokens, so it was going to be all hell breaks loose. So there's a game. Okay, here we are, game three. Um, after a win and a loss, loss to Vito and Exquisite Blood. I get to go first, which is a miracle. Again, two out of three. And we got Donna Hope lined up. And Castle Ardenvale. Okay, this looks pretty good. A lot of big pieces here. Well, we're going to have to do some removal here. <clears throat> I realized in the last game we didn't have a single piece of removal, um, which is interesting given I've got quite a few of them. Okay, we've got plenty of mana here now. We're going to need to get the angel on pretty quick. We'll see. There might be something to, to uh, remove here, like the crab. Not so much concerned about the life loss more about the <clears throat> creature the uh, mill so let's see I think what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and remove the soaring thought thief Oh, that's not good. Okay. That's constant card draw. Curious Obsession really is an incredibly good card. It's, it's an uncommon, it's miraculous. Creature gets plus one, plus one, and every time it deals damage, you draw a card. Incredible. 
Okay, so at this point, I'm going to remove that. It's because we can't have card draw like that. That's going to be the end of us. They probably have count a counter spell. Ooh, that's good to see. They may still have a two drop counter spell. Certainly hope that's not the case. Thank goodness for that. Settle of the Wreckage is a potent card. Okay. Baneslayer. Let's see if they can remove it. That'll probably be countered. They do not counter it, okay? Do they have removal for the Bane Slayer? Okay, that's okay. We'll draw the card. Oh boy, Rankle, this is not good. That's game right there. Okay, here we are. Game three. We'll keep it. Let's get down to Hope. Vanishing Light. Archon is nearby. Yeah, this is going well. We got Honden as well. Now yeah, Griffin Airy would be great. Okay, we've got the mana to play everything in hand. Okay. And I'll take that away with Banishing Light right now to reduce their card draw. Or their mana base, rather. This is a huge deck, 239 cards still in the deck. Okay. And now they're going to have a problem. If they do not have a way to remove that, which green typically does not, appears to be mono green at this point. And they have got a significant issue as we're going to create some creatures here, some tokens. Authority of Consoles, a great card. Okay, that's all right. We can manage that entirely. We'll do that right now. Yeah, they know what's going on, and there's the victory. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this deck. Uh, cool build. I love it when ideas pop into my head like this, um, and it's pretty darn effective. Thanks again. Take care.